Good morning and welcome to this brief time of worship together on Monday the 24th of July. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as a flower of the field, for as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place will know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures for ever and ever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is psalm number one. Blessed are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the assembly of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. Like a tree planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with weaves, leaves that do not wither, whatever they do it shall prosper. As for the wicked, it's not so with them. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not be able to stand in the judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations, Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. <clears throat> we come to our scripture reading now, and it's taken from the second, the second book of Corinthians, the second letter to the Corinthians, and it's chapter eleven and verse one to fifteen appointed for today. <clears throat> Paul says, I hope you will put up with a little of my foolishness, but you're already doing that. I'm jealous for you with a godly jealousy. I promised you to one husband, to Christ, so that I might present you as a pure virgin to him. But I'm afraid that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's cunning, your minds may somehow be led astray from your sincere and pure devotion to Christ. 
Or if someone comes to you and preaches a Jesus other than the Jesus we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it easily enough. But I do not think I am in the least inferior to these so-called super-apostles. I may not be a trained speaker, but I do have knowledge. We have made this perfectly clear to you in every way. Was it a sin for me to lower myself in order to elevate you by preaching the gospel of God to you free of charge? I robbed other churches by receiving support from them so as to serve you. When I was with you and needed something, I was not a burden to anyone, for the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied what I needed. I have kept myself from being a burden to you in any way and will continue to do so. As surely as the truth of Christ is in me, nobody in the regions of Achaia will stop this boasting of mine. Why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do, and I will keep on doing what I am doing in order to cut the ground from under those who want an opportunity to be considered equal with us in the things they boast about. For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, masquerading as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. Is it not surprising, then, if his servants masquerade as servants of righteousness? Their end will be what their actions deserve. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And that reading from St Paul's letter to the church in Corinth is a reminder to us of being true to God's word and looking at God's word and not listening necessarily to the voices of those around us, either from the world or perhaps from some of our senior ecclesiastics. May God bless the reading of his word to us this morning. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. <clears throat> you have set us free, O Lord, to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. And now let us pray together. <clears throat> First of all, the collect for this day, a special prayer for today. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> And so let us, by prayer and intercession, with thanksgiving, make our requests to Almighty God. Our gracious Father, we pray for peace and justice and reconciliation throughout the world. We look at a troubled world, 
chaotic world, a greedy world. Lord, we pray for the honouring of human rights. We pray for the relief of the oppressed. We especially pray for those who are oppressed by persecution. We pray for our Christian brothers and sisters in a variety of different countries who are persecuted simply because they belong to the Lord Jesus. Lord, may your Holy Spirit be among them, bless them, keep them looking to you, we pray. And thank you, Lord, too, for all that is good in the lives of different people, men, women and children. Thank you for your presence with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the renewal of the church in faith, in love and service. A fresh, a, commi a fresh commitment to the word of our Lord Jesus. To the living word, the living scriptures. We pray for our bishop, the new bishop of Bradwell, as he prepares to come to this area in the autumn. Father, we give thanks for the gift of your word to us. Thank you that it has been translated and the message is there clear for all to read. We thank you for all the assistance that you give us. We thank you for the sacraments, the bread and the wine that we share together as a reminder of the death of Jesus, the giving of his body and blood for us and for our sins. We thank you for the fellowship of church people and for our fellowship in the community. We thank you for your good gifts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for our local community, dear Lord, for all the people in their daily life and work, whether it be young or elderly, families, or, or, who, or who are alone. Thank you for all the human skill and creativity all that reveals your loveliness. We give you praise for your love and care and thank you for the gifts that you have given to us and for the expression of them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And especially, Lord, we pray for those who are in any kind of need. For those affected by fuel costs, the increasing prices in the shops, for those badly affected by heating costs and perhaps even trying desperately hard to keep cool in these new days. We pray for those who are still hungry and homeless. We pray for those who are persecuted because they belong to Jesus. We pray for the work of our many agencies, work on climate change, self-help developments. And we give thanks for community life, for family life. We pray for all who are unwell, all those who have problems, all those who have conditions for which there is no known cure. Lord, may we each one know the presence of the living Lord Jesus. May we know your strength, your comfort, your hope. And so, Lord, we commit ourselves and all those whom we love to your love and mercy. And as we think of that, let us pray for that special prayer that our Lord Jesus gave us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. 
And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Thank you for joining me today. I wish you well.